and drink water during this. It's always hard to pick out a favorite. I, I define favorite as the thing you can keep returning to. It doesn't sort of wear out. So Kafka and Beckett and Shakespeare in small doses. Um, but to be more contemporary, John Ashbery's poems and Ray Armentrout's poems would be favorites that I can come back to again and again. I write with a pen and paper, at least to begin with, then go over to the computer at a certain point. Um, I like writing on the, uh, writing, I was going to say riding on the train, but writing on the train. I'm often on the train. And I keep uh, notebooks all over the house, so I'm always picking up a notebook instead of a, a grocery list to write on. Translating is different because it's usually a, re a real job and a long-term job it's been in the past. Um, so I'll work directly onto the computer and set up a schedule 10 to 2 or 9 to 3. And um, the only sort of strange thing about my translating practice is that I don't read the book first. I start at the beginning and um, translate from there because I want each page to be a surprise. It's, it keeps me a lot more engaged and and happy. I've never liked the word jejun. Some people I think pronounce it jejun. I've always heard it jejun. You don't come upon it very often so you never quite know what it means. Uh, I think it means something like shallow but, but I'm really not sure of that. I don't like the way it looks or the way it pronounces. The, the word, I would say, it's hard to pick a favorite um, because it's, it's always, you know, you look for the perfect word for the perfect spot. But I would go for a monosyllabic Anglo-Saxon word like land or man, something very plain, something very strong, and something often with many, many different meanings and associations. For a long time I didn't know when I had read it before, but I, I found in an old diary that I had read it when I was 23 years old. And um, must have read a bad translation, or at least one that wasn't close to the, the, the actual text. And uh, was not crazy about the book. Going back to it now um, and working on it intensively, I came to admire it a lot. It's still not a lovable book but it's an admirable feat on the part of uh, Flaubert. The, the balanced structure, the tightness of the construction, the, the tra beautiful transitions, but then at other times very abrupt transitions on purpose um, when he sort of startles you out of um, a lyrical mode into a sarcastic or brutal, brutal mode. And the, and the realistic detail, which is, co is what he's famous for, of course, and that's just beautifully, beautifully, minutely done. Well, I had to recommend a competitor, but there's a new translation of Madame Bovary by Adam Thorpe, which seems very good. So I hear I'm being very wicked to, to compete with myself. I think Michael Hoffman has done an interesting Kafka, the America. There have been a couple of new versions of America. Uh, Kafka was also uh, not very faithfully translated in, by the Moors. So there, there would be new, new versions to look at there. Mm -hmm.